Good morning, Angie. Nice to visit with you today. Yes, good morning. And so you're the executive director for the Wyoming Dinosaur Center, correct? That's correct. I've, I've never been there, but from your background, I definitely have to come visit. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're here this morning to talk about Wyo Gives, which is the first of its kind for the state of Wyoming. On July 15th, we're going to embark on a 24-hour online day of giving for nonprofits statewide. It's pretty exciting. How do you feel about Wyo Gives? I'm very excited to participate. Excellent. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the Dinosaur Center. Tell us about what you do, um, how you uh, work in the community, and, and maybe a little bit about how long you've been around. Sure. So the Wyoming Dinosaur Center opened its doors July 1st of 1995. So we've been in Thermopolis now 25 years and let's see, 95. Yeah, 25 years, I think. Yeah. And we um, host a variety of programs for families, for children specifically, for senior citizens. Um, we also do intergen programs for um, grandparents and their grandchildren. And we were named one of the 50 coolest places in the world by Time Magazine for Kids for 2019. Um, we take great pride in what we do here at the Wyoming Dinosaur Center. Um, as you can see behind me, um, uh, there's a few of our skeletons in, that are on display. We have over 58 mounted skeletons um, from all around the world and hundreds of displays with fossils from Germany and Switzerland, Brazil, uh, the US, from all over the world. Um, in fact, we have uh, one of the best fossil collections anywhere in the world. And what sets us apart is we sit right on top of active dig sites. So within a 10 minute drive, you can be right in the middle of our something interesting site where you see dinosaur footprints and teeth and bones. Um, several sites just right down the hillside, which we actively dig all summer long. So you can not only immerse yourself in the museum, you can also take part in an actual dinosaur dig. So why did you decide to participate in Wyo Gives? You know, I think um, we, I, I would like to get our name out there. Um, we originally started as a for-profit museum, and it wasn't until January 1st of 2017 that we transitioned to a nonprofit. And the reason we did that is we see um, fossils from all around the state leave the state. So we have different universities and organizations and corporations come to Wyoming to dig fossils and all of those fossils leave the state. We want to educate people on the history of Wyoming's fossils, Wyoming's fossil heritage basically, and keep those fossils in Wyoming for my children, my grandchildren, for everyone to see in the future um, and make people understand the importance of Wyoming's fossil heritage. So I know when I spoke to you a while back, the, the museum was closed and that was probably a very difficult thing for you and your community. And now more than ever during the COVID-19 crisis, what would you like to say to donors or potential donors for giving to Wyo Gives on July 15th and that importance? Very important to support um, organizations uh, in Wyoming, especially during this crisis. Um, the Wyoming Dinosaur Center has never been closed until this year. We had to close our doors on the 20th of March. And it's very unusual for us. We are open seven days a week, all year long. We bring about 40,000 visitors to Thermopolis each year and about 1,500 uh, families stay in local motels and, you know, uh, purchase fuel and um, support our restaurants. So it's very important to keep these small organizations going um, so they can continue contributing to their communities. Well, Angie, it was nice visiting with you today. I wish you the best of luck on July 15th with Wyo Gifts. Oh, thank you so much. We really appreciate it.